Well, this is with respect to Francis. We're old friends. I remember when he was a pupil in chains doing criminal law, but I don't think you do criminal law at the moment. And there is no way you can stick on misconduct in public office. Not to go into the law in it, but you really should know. It really is, is a nonsense. But what Rishi Sunak was saying, and the source of this story is in The Spectator. And I hope you've both read it because he's not I attacking did. witty moments. Yeah. He's not attacking witty and balance. He's not attacking lockdown. The real gripe he has is this was all taken over by number 10. Number 10 was making all the decisions and weren't consulting the cabinet at all. What was happening in SAGE? SAGE is a big body. Sometimes there'd be 50, sometimes there'd be more. Scientists are very much like economists. They will disagree. But what they did and the whole purpose of, 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 of the taking was, and these are the words of, of Rishi Sunak, was to distill something for ministers to act on. Of course, there's going to be uh, dissent. There's dissent in cabinet co committees. There's dissent in cabinet, but you don't always make it public at the time in the, in the time of uh, national crisis. The other big gripe that uh, Sunak has is one, he was a be being accused of um, complaining about uh, schools, because I think this is a big mistake that was made. We shouldn't have closed down, down the schools at all. Uh, it has caused absolute disaster. That There was no modelling. In other words, the Treasury was asked to take decisions based on something which, you know, was very much up in the air. Well, of course. Here. The of course, but that's what Francis and I have been decisions. saying the for thing. such Hang a on, long the time. Thing is, Sorry, go on. Sorry, Dan, I couldn't hear. Well, I, th that's the point, though. You're, you're making the point. That's what Francis and I have been saying for such a long time. The, the damage was, was caused by these was lockdown decisions was criminal. And, I mean, Francis, well, look, I, I... No, it's not well, criminal. Of I think it was. You could, just, you could say just about every government decision is, is criminal if you, if, you, if you disagree with it. Look, the definition um, of, of misconduct in, in public office, deliberately doing something which is wrong, knowing it is wrong, or with reckless indifference as to whether it was wrong or not, the defendant must know that a right-thinking member of the public to conclude that misconduct is so serious that it goes to the threshold. Test. OK, well, that's the definition. So let me bring Francis here. in to say, Francis, do you think it potentially meets that threshold? Well, I, I, I've just outlined. The point is, Jerry hasn't suggested that I've misrepresented or misstated what what the um, uh, what the test is. That is the test. But it's a test for the deep, jury. Deep, but first of all, intro. it will be a and test. Well, well, Your intro tonight has more. been that, 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 that witty and valence should be uh, invited for, for no, I, misconduct in public office, which is nonsense and actually libelous. No, no, Jerry, as, as you know, because you saw the tweet that was quoted, what I said is there is yeah. scope, there is cause to investigate whether or not officials responsible were responsible. I didn't suggest that as it happened in that tweet, that individuals, particular individuals should be. I said it is reasonable to suppose, thank you, Dan, to Witty and Balance were at least aware. And that it is an open question as to whether or not they authorised those it's minutes. Not the and it's not the definition. It's not the definition of misconduct in public office. Being aware, well, it, being it, potentially it, it, aware, the question is not a criminal is, offense. It, and you should know that. Uh, sorry, sorry, hang on a minute. The question is whether or not the public official is acting as such. We know that they were acting as a public official. The question is whether they willfully neglect to perform his duty. This is Attorney General's reference number three of 2003 for what it is yeah, worth. And there's a 2015 um, case as well. But it's nonsense, well, yeah, what you're saying. Well, of course. Really and and it is always a question for the jury, and it always is a, qu is a question as to whether or not the conduct is so serious that it is, as, as you said, that it is a, a criminal in nature. And we don't know this. But if it is the case that there were um, officials in SAGE giving a clear and coherent alternative view, if it is the case that that was deliberately excised from minutes, it is at least a question mark as to whether or not that reaches the threshold. Yes. And Jerry Hayes, so given and that we now know... And, Jerry, and, and Jerry, the question can only Jerry, be answered Jerry, if an Francis, investigation investigates that. That's Francis, just, just hold for a second, Jerry. Given that we now know that these lockdowns potentially killed tens of thousands of people, they may end up, and I'm very confident they will end up killing more folk 
than people who actually died from the virus, surely oh, at the very least nonsense, you man. want it really an investigation. Is. I'm sorry. That, that is just nonsense. And that, that ship nonsense? has sailed. It is, How is it nonsense? nonsense? 205 people died. Uh, 205,000 people died. But the the the, the well, do you know how? Well, no, no. You've just said that what I've said is nonsense, Jerry. Do you have any idea how many people are going to die from missed cancer operations, yeah. from heart attacks at home, from strokes at home, from suicide, from alcohol addiction? Yes. No. At this point, you have you. no idea. 